why hello hello and welcome to another episode of the truth is in this episode we are talking about why the he should get a raise line that people give or yourself may have given to an employee of a place that you frequent they do business with pay money to visit whatever it is um line doesn't doesn't work it doesn't work it does not get that employee a raise especially depending on the kind of company and business structure that the employee at the bottom is under okay my name is Peyton 3.0 once again for those of you who are new the EDM and drumstep vocalist Zombie Supreme thank you very much but today we're not talking about anything to do with my brand this series is a series that is all about the truth the series just come on Siri nobody talk nobody's talking to you honey I ain't press the button see I will be listening honey okay all these companies you're listening up google all of them whatever anyway not that i'm just accepting it it's just what it is right now okay anyway like i was saying you like the music in the background by the way you like the music in the background that's mine it's called turn up we'll get to that later anyway why that line does not work okay i don't matter of fact i don't think anybody who's ever gotten a that line from a, a customer or whatever has ever gotten a raise there's a girl working at the hotel i work at the resort i work at on the strip in las vegas that says she hasn't got a raise in eight years eight years and no raise bitch why is that eight years no raise that's insanity honey you ain't gone nowhere else no mobility you ain't trying to go nowhere else in eight years you just stayed right there you didn't have a conversation with the boss to ask for no raise she seems like a smart girl she has a she has an opinion she seems aggressive enough that she would talk to the boss and the boss just tells her no or they skirt around the issue and she keeps working couldn't be me couldn't be me but anyway to, let me see, here let me let me ask you in the comment section has any of you actually ever gotten a raise off of a compliment or they're saying i want to speak to you speak to your manager and they're happy and they're in a great mood because usually when they want to speak to your manager it's not a good thing but this is one rare time that it is so manager comes out and say hey darla here she's great she's great you she deserves a raise and the manager may may go a lot of times the manager face is like thank you you know whatever it's not it's not enthusiastic it's just thank you thank you you have a good one sir and they walk back to their post and continue whatever whatever hectic work they may or may not have to do and then they post maybe they may post a comment on the wall or something they may post a review if they made a review on the wall and that's all that miss little darla or anthony or whatever or julio will get okay or jimin may get Okay, or, or or little Jason Lee may get, but they don't get no raise from that. But you you may ask yourself, why does that not work? And why you should stop saying this to, saying it to employees? And why you stop should stop trying to get their managers to tell them they should get a raise? Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. If you know what the picture that you're seeing right now on the screen, what movie this is from and the actor 
let me know in the comment section. See, the man in this in this picture here, he may actually be serious about giving his employee a raise. Or he could just be a sarcastic dick, just feeling good, good at the party. At the um at the uh employee party. But he doesn't actually give that employee a raise. Okay. He was just feeling good that night. Had a little too much wine. Had a little too much Chardonnay. Okay. And there's a couple of reasons why it doesn't work. Number one. They may like the employee. They may not like the employee like that. Uh, number two. They only have raises that specifically go to certain members in a certain higher position of that particular company. And they barely give any real raises at all, if any. And when they do is a few cents, like 60 or 30 cents. You know what I'm saying? So while the real raises, the bigger raises go to people in higher positions. Okay, people that you probably employ, you probably probably never see gets those kind of raises that these customers or guests is a, a new terminology people are now attempting to use to make people feel like not just the transaction, even though unfortunately you are just a transaction. They're just trying to use the word guest, family. Stop. Anyway, none of you are guests. You're just a customer with a dollar sign on your head. Okay. Give them the money, honey. They're happy. Don't give them the money and you need to get out. Period. Especially that's the that's the real sentiment, even if they don't want to say that to your face in America. Oh, cool. So Th those are like some of the major reasons why he should get raised does not work the dinosaur company structure may be the reason also why he should get a raise does not work because you're talking to the person who is a manager but doesn't have the authority to give a raise nor would they bother to talk to the person who has the authority to give raises because he doesn't believe that him going to tell the manager that a customer said that this employee should get a raise that 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 person of higher authority is going to give any fucks okay so those are just several reasons why the he should get a raise line does not work. Especially when you stupidly, as a guest or a customer, or whatever, a dollar sign, go to other employees and say, hey, that coworker of yours is really great. He should get a raise. Why are you telling an employee who is making ass cheeks? For money, that don't employee should get a raise. They don't want to hear that. Because they may think that they should get a raise, and you don't know the history and their battle with the company, the very company that they're working for. They may be on the verge of quitting, and here your stupid ass comes. <laughs> you see Dawn over there? She should get a raise. Shut the fuck up. Shut your stupid ass up. Okay. And those are the major reasons why Darla is not ever going to get a raise from that line. Why Jason is not going to get a raise from that line. 
why little Becky Sue is not going to get a raise from that line. This is the real world we're dealing with, people. Stop being delusional fools, living your own little dimension when out there in the real world. This has been Peyton 3.0, the EDM and drum set vocalist Zombie Supreme. Okay. Now, for those of you who are my wonderful, loyal electronic dance music fans, my Zombatrons, my Peytonators, those are my interchangeable names. If you have not done it already, or you are brand new, and that's what you are into, these social medias for for you because you qualify. If you don't qualify, I would not get onto these social medias. But there is one social media for everybody, and that is sessionslive.com. What is sessionslive.com, you may ask? This is a platform for artists to go on there and do covers and actually be able to play the music without getting copyright striked by certain social medias. You know who you are. In the music industry, because you're playing the music in the background. Because things have gotten really ridiculous in the wild, wild west of the internet where people are getting copyright strikes just for trying to cover somebody else's song. Even if, not, if, if you're not even trying to make money off of it. But with this platform, it's a platform that is made for you to do it and there will be no copyright strikes because the owner of the platform created specifically for that and has the rights to do so. So you put that URL in your browser. You go to sessionslive.com slash Peyton3662. Okay. You enter your email in. You enter, you get a screen name. Create an avatar. It's gamified. It's fun. And you're ready to go. They'll, they'll alert you when I go live. Request your favorite song for me to sing. Right. We have a conversation. We get to know each other. Have a great time. It's fun. Okay. Now, for those of you who are into EDM, dubstep, all of that stuff, get three free unreleased songs from me by going to that bitly link and getting on my email list because email is the best way for me to communicate with you. I cannot compete with these algorithms on these um, social media sites. I can't. Not even the one on this site. I can't control if they're going to show my stuff to everybody. Which they never do. But I can't control the message that gets out there with my email list. So yes. Make sure you hit my like button. Tim and likes, Tim and likes, Tim and likes, Tim and likes, please. If you like this song, visit in the background, visit the SoundCloud up there. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. If you are watching me in the background, stop what you're doing and at least come and hit the like button. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. This has been Peyton 3.0, the EDM and drum step vocalist, Zombie Supreme. And I will see you, see you on the next episode of The Truth Is. Take care.